Oscar, here in Brazil, tensions are rising, and the president, Dilma Rousseff, is at serious risk of losing her job just a year and a half after she was re-elected. On Sunday, the lower house of Congress will vote whether to impeach Rousseff for allegedly breaking budgetary laws to hide a budget deficit. Now, a full two-thirds of lawmakers will have to approve that motion for the impeachment process to go forward. In the meantime, police have already erected a one-kilometer-long fence on the lawn in front of Congress to try and separate dueling protesters. We're going to have supporters of the president on one side and her detractors on the other. The president is a highly unpopular leader with an approval rating of down near 10 percent, largely because she's presided over the worst recession in decades. Inflation is up, so is unemployment. Add to that a corruption and bribery scandal that has engulfed dozens of politicians in her own work, uh, workers' party. Now, the president herself has not been implicated, but she was the chairwoman of the state-run oil company Petrobras when much of the corruption took place. Her supporters, however, still argue that this is nothing more than an institutional coup d'etat, an attempt to remove a democratically elected leader on a technicality when other politicians really are facing charges of corruption and bribery. Now, at this point, it is looking increasingly likely that Congress will vote to impeach her. Uh, and for that, markets and investors, well, they're cheering. They think the only way to get the economy back on track is to remove the president and her workers' party.